Okay, so a new day, new tool. Um, this is apparently a Gudgeon remover. Uh, Posty's been busy today, he's bought me a few things. He's also bought me uh, a replacement piston turned up a few days ago, but it didn't have a Gudgeon in it, so I had to buy a new one. Uh, that's the removal tool. A little bit more on that in a second, once I've worked, you can help me work it out. So, this year I've got a brand new shiny piston. I uh, haven't put any of the rings in yet. A Gudgeon pin uh, is a snug fit, it says, and in. Okay, uh, with obviously the rings on each side to make it so it doesn't fall out into the block. Um, the issue that I've got is the piston itself is really wedged up against that. Yeah, so it's really got a tight grip so as much as I've got this movement it's not going anywhere because it is semi welded onto the cushion pin so I've tried with a few taps on the other side to knock it out that way not working I looked into ways of doing it found a tool to do it uh, actually I found a way of doing it with uh, screws and bolts uh, with bolts and nuts but um, frankly with the uh, current coronavirus and queues and stuff I would have been waiting so long outside being queue for the sake of I think 15 quid that was it's worth just buying one so and it's to pull it through from one end of another so first thing is find which one of the various pullers fits Ugh. all right so this is reverse threaded Well, concerned. I wasn't sure when I saw this on the internet because it's quite small and flimsy, but actually, that is a fairly substantial piece. Obviously, curved to get itself around the piston without biting into it too much. At the end there, in fact, I don't need to unscrew it. So fits in quite nicely, not quite matching the curve, but enough that it's not a sharp edge on it. So the theory says, having just unscrewed it massively, the theory is that it would go through. Uh, one, two, three, four. Right, let's just check size. That's small enough to catch. That's bigger. Obviously the other three are way too big, so just mock up what I've got and got on the Kimco at the moment is one stuck Gudgeon pin, so through, through down the other side, reverse threaded on. In fact if I remember I'll see if I can put the, the link to where this came from, it's only a eBay special. So, locked off there. Pulling through, oh. Pulling through at the other end. Obviously that bar getting shorter throughout. And the actual tool itself is hollow, so it's just caught there. So I'm only pulling my fingers here because this isn't a stuck pin. Screwing on the main tool itself, shortening the length available, pulling it through. Like I say, the uh, copper bit there is hollow, that's as far as it goes, so it might be a bit of just manhandling to get it through the last one. That's not as far as it goes actually, they just caught. So it does go all the way through, good. I didn't really want to have to try and yank that out the last stretch. So if need be, all the way through. Obviously out of the piston, screw the bad boy back out, and get the good in out. Now I think the one that's in there is either bird or bent, so uh, that's why I've got a replacement, because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to use the one that's there. 
right, the theory is there. The theory is simple. Um, at some point, either today or tomorrow, um, I'll try it on the proper one and see how much more difficult it is on a properly stuck gadget pin. Cool. Right, I'm a man of many qualities. Uh, patience is not one of them, so sorry, I'm going to go for it now. So, um, I was going to wait till daylight so there's decent light, but this is just what I've got. So, pull her through, stop her on, cranking away, and I'll tell you one thing it's not the easiest thing in the world, but there's something slowly bending while it's pulling it through. More importantly, what I'm not doing is putting a shitload of pressure on that piston, which I was before. So I'm happy with that. I can't tell if I'm uh, shredding the thread of the tool, but it seems to be. It's not easy, but it's consistent. Easier, so it's either come through or it's broken, one or the other. Let's just keep it going all the way through, just for shits and giggles. And something's happened, but I can't tell what. Ah. Aha! That was. What, one minute's worth of graft. That is awesome. Right, well that is me. Now also, in a good mood. I'll just screw this down. So I can get that good gym pin out. Right, let's uh, grab you and move you. So, it's about two afternoons worth of trying to get that out. It's come out in less than a minute with the right tool. So what have I got? That's the tool. but it's not surprising the amount of a WD-40 that that's invested in it over the last couple of weeks or so. Um, oh, idiot. So, having commented on the fact that that bit the stop of the puller itself is reverse threaded, I've just been screwing it in tighter like a moron. So, put that over there. That is the uh, Gudgeon pin that's been causing me all of the issues. <sighs> put the most amazing tool in the world down. Yeah, look at that. You can see the scarring on that. Well, that was properly, properly, properly stuck on. Now that gives me the old piston. Compare and contrast. Now, harking all the way back to whether or not my lack of compression was down to the piston. It might have been somehow. Yeah, it's been a test, they are the same size, they felt it, they measured up the same. One shagged piston. One side's fine. Yeah. Then it's one bruised bugger. Um, now the uh, other part, the outer bit, is over there somewhere. I can't be asked to dig it out at the moment because it is a bit late. 
but that is one properly shagged piston. Uh, not really a wonder why it was quite so knackered. So, job done. Tomorrow's job. Get the rings on. Have a look up on that tonight to make sure I get everything in the right order and everything done. Might do it in the living room this evening, so I might not film it. Uh, rings on, get it installed, hook it back together. You never know, I might be able to see whether or not it works. Well, well happy. So, um, definitely will um, dig out the link for the Gudgeon puller. Um, despite the fact that it looks like some sort of futuristic sex toy, actually, it is a freaking awesome piece of kit for those uh, rare occasions. So I'm made to believe there's rare occasions where you get a stuck pin. And like I say, for the sake of, I think 15 quid, but I'll check. It might be 20. Anyway, for the sake of less than a 20 pound note, that's uh, two afternoon sessions of struggling and swearing at the piston, trying to get it out to the point where I nearly just took the whole thing to the breaker's yard. In fact, <laughs> I think if there were any open at the moment, it probably would have done exactly that. So, fantastic, fantastic bit of kit. Now that colour marks on it just to prove that it's been used as well. Well, 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 happy.